Hi, welcome. This is the Arclix B Extended, and I'm taking this one to explain you guys what happened to your logout. There is this Arclix logout that we've now launched. There is still something red up here. And that's another release, an upgrade, All right? Okay, apply. Let's do it graphically. Normally you see me type in a terminal, update, up all, and scale. Those are the commands to know on Arc Linux. Right, so we have now the very latest Arc Linux logout on our system. And this video is to show you what's changed. You can do this with any change coming from Arc Linux. There is always two things to remember. Scale is gonna make a copy of your .conf, so anything that's personal that you've changed is in one of those configs, right? So like you see, I have done a lot of scales and it keeps track of it, but it can also do backup scale. So have a look at that um, command too and take a look at the videos. Now I'm choosing this extended version, right? Arclinux B extended because we are talking about eight desktops and the tutorial is already created, arclinux.com. The last article on there is about switching to arclinux logout, right? So that's written. And we're talking about this. You can choose the colors and the design any way you see fit. And there will be more icons in the future. But the point is we switched from a particular application to our application. This is third party, this is our thing, right? So that's a difference. Um, that's one. Two, there was a reason, of course, to change as well, because we don't want to be dependent on the package builds of OB Logout, which was an issue a few weeks ago uh, with a certain package. There were issues, right? So we couldn't build OB Logout. So hence the idea, and thanks to Brad, in about three, four hours later, he had created something, right? It's that quick. So the idea is that we go and have a look at what changed. We have different uh, elements on this uh, machine. We have Xmonad, that's here. And we have, we kept the old one. So you can do control with this. So keep pressed, uh, keep control pressed and then you have selected these two guys and then you melt always, you compare. The application is called melt. And then you can realize, okay, they, they have changed this or they have changed that. It's a line in blue. Arclinux logout. Here it says OB logout. Here it says Arclinux, Arco logout. And that's basically it. We changed a few keyboard shortcuts because Ctrl Alt K is this one. Ctrl Alt L is this one and super x is that one so three things pointing in this to the same direction but ctrl alt k and l is for the lock or risk you can use it for the lock that's the idea that you have a uniform greeter with some choices and will make more choices in the future but basically that's it all right so we're switching out applications that was Xmonad, that's the one that's out of the .conf, that's the only one. And all the rest are in here. So we can have a look at Awesome, the same way. There is an old Lua and there is a new Lua, right? Compare, have a look, what we've changed? Slimlock is out. It's gone. And we've changed it with other code and that's down here. So visually it, it shows you what we've done. You can keep track of what we've done this way. That was awesome. Then we have BSPWM. Same applies here. Here is nothing old, right? It's in here. Here is a keyboard shortcut that's different. So I do compare and again you scroll through. It's gonna be the same every time. Slim lock is out, open logout is out and Arclinux logout is in. And you can keep doing this with Herbsluft WM, with i3, with Openbox, with Qtile, and I believe we've got them all then, right? There's just one where you can't see it really, and that's XFCE. 
that's hidden away in the keyboard shortcuts in here somewhere in here written immediately and that's it guys that's all we did we've changed some files around some some applications switched over logout with arc linux logout and the slim lock has been changed and that's it enjoy your arc linux logout that's the new way of stopping shutting down rebooting logout and lock your system as well all right cheers